Alright guys, I got uh, I got the warming box all on, got the door cut out, got everything welded on the inside. Um, it's turning out really, really good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to put, I got some little trailer jacks. I think I might put a trailer jack on this back side just to help stabilize it once it's in place. I mean, it's moves a little side to side. It's those pneumatic tires. I'm wondering if, uh, you know, what I guess I worry about is when you come in here to pull the racks out, is it going to wiggle and wobble? So I, I might put those trailer jacks on there, just, you know, stability kind of thing. Uh, I still got to put the top on the heating box. And uh, I think it'll be all right. I, I got to find some barbecue gauges. I got to figure out barbecue gauges. I really want the true tail ones, but they're uh, they're roughly forty dollars a piece, and I'd like to put six of them. Uh, probably one, two, three, four, five, and maybe one on the firebox. Um, I'd like at least four on the chamber itself, so you could tell what the heat is in different areas. Um, but. You know, at, at the same time, I don't want cheap ones that aren't very accurate. I don't know. That's a, that's a dilemma. It's, we'll see. I, if you guys got any suggestions, let me know. Leave it in the comments. Um, I just don't want to spend $40 a piece. So I just got back from Menard. Uh, I got this replacement gasket. It's 5 in, or 5 8 it's a rope, it's a fiberglass rope. That's what I'm gonna seal the door with and the firebox. The the I'm gonna seal the uh, heating box door and the firebox door uh, with this. It comes with the cement and the rope. I believe six foot of it, and uh, that's like seven bucks, a, you know, a, a bag. So that should work pretty good. That's what I used on the last one, and. Uh, I think I'm going to line the whole outside of the door with uh, with angle iron, and so it gives me a, a little bit of a, a place to put this rope, and I'm just not w sure what to put here to seal up against the door. I'm not sure if I need to put a piece of angle on the inside facing out. I don't, I don't know yet. I'm going to put the door together, get the door mounted on with the hinges, and then figure out what I'm doing, so. All right, I got the uh, the heating box door on. Looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a gap there, but that's okay because you know I'm gonna have angle coming out, uh, pushing against the gasket. So I had four inch hinges. You know they only come out to there, so I cut them, bend them over, and that way I can weld. That gives a lot more of the hinge hanging onto the door. So now I got to weld it all. I'm just gonna stitch it because I don't want this door to warp. And, uh, you know, then I'll do the inside, too. And, uh, I'll do the inside every couple inches, three inches or so. But other than that, it looks, I'm pretty happy with it. So, I'll do the same thing with the firebox door. That way it gives it a nice gasket to seat up against. Alright, I got the, uh, firebox door done. I... I think it's going to turn out all right. It, uh, I'm hoping this is enough of a lip. I don't know if I need to put something on the inside here to hold that gasket. I'm hoping the gasket glues itself fairly well. I don't know. It, the last time it did, it seemed okay. But uh, other than that, put some angle iron on the inside here sticking out. And, uh, you know, to push up against that gasket. That would be good. Uh, heat and box. I'm super happy with the way all that turned out. I need to build some racks for that. And, uh, I, it's more fine tuning stuff now. I mean, I got to figure out how I want to latch these two doors together uh, to hold them in because they kind of hold that top door down. Um, other than that, I'm ready for this thing to be finished up. It's, uh, it's just a bunch of small things that are adding up now, so. 
All right, guys, I'm working on the uh, the lips for the gasket. I use some two inch by two inch angle, uh, mainly because that's what I had. Um, today's Sunday and, and the steel yard's closed. Um, I already welded that top one. I did it in sections so that hopefully it wouldn't wear up too bad. I could have probably welded the whole thing and not worried about it. Uh, it really didn't move at all, so I still got to weld the bottom one here around the firebox. But that'll create a nice knife edge to push up against uh, the the door gasket going around the door. So it's coming along, and uh, we'll do some welding here. Alright, I got the lip all welded on. So, you know, you already saw the top. There's the bottom. Um, turned out pretty good. It hangs up a little right there, but you give it a little force and it, it shuts. I think I kind of like it like that. Because uh, then it's seating seat tight. Um, It's looking good, so. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll be doing part 7 of this, this smoker build. Hopefully coming up in the next couple days. So, thanks for watching.